Okay, so for this first craft, we're gonna do the laminated one. Obviously, I will be using laminated pouches, as well as the laminator, which I will go ahead and turn on right now so it can start warming up. I'll need my scissors. I'm using some cardstock, which is some heavier paper, and then some regular paper with my images that I'm going to make the ornaments out of. There are two different versions. So on this one, you'll see that it is all this direction. However, on this, you'll see that everything is actually reversed. That's so when I put them together, everything will line up properly. So first things first is I'm going to cut out the ornaments. So I'm just going to be cutting with a fair amount of space right now because right, I will trim it down later. So that's the first side. And this is the second side. So the first one that I'm gonna start with is just this one right here, because it's gonna be nice and easy since it is a perfect square. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim this down to size. If I had a paper cutter with straight lines, I would use that for this to size it up, but unfortunately, I do not. Thankfully, that is not the end of the world for this kind of thing. It just makes things a little bit easier. So now I have my two, and what you'll see is that when I have it this way, it lines up, so that way when I cut everything out, it will match. And it's not gonna say the same thing on both sides, but it will be as if you can see through it almost, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with these two as well. So the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is gluing these onto the cardstock. That will make the actual ornaments a little bit thicker and more sturdy. But I'm gonna place these so I can see kind of where, because I wanna make sure that when these go into the laminator that they're gonna have enough space between each other that when I go to laminate them, they don't get too small. So, that looks good. So now I'm going to glue them down. So that's got those down here. And then I'm gonna just flip this over now and I'll be putting these guys on. So it's using like this. So it's this edge that I need to make sure is on here. There it goes. So now I've got them all laid down on here. And I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple minutes so it can kind of, the glue can dry a little bit because this is like kids glue, which is movable before it permanently sticks. So we'll just give it a couple minutes. 
Okay, so I've let these sit for a few minutes now, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. So I'm just gonna cut out around the cardstock first, where I glued them on. So I just wanna get them off of here. And it's okay if they're a little bit wobbly at the ends. The cardstock is really just to give it more structure. It's not really, doesn't have to add heat to it because it's gonna go through the laminator anyway. And the laminator is what's going to keep everything together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything down to the final size. What I'm going to be doing is taking out one of my laminating pouches. So with the laminating pouch, really all I'm going to do is lift it up. And then I'm just going to place these three in here. And I want to place them with enough room around them so that when they go through here, they're not going, they'll, they'll have plenty of room around each edge so that way I can cut out cut it out very nicely so now that I've got that laminator is all nice and warmed up and we're gonna go ahead and feed it through so, okay. so it's gotta go this way but we just want to go ahead lift it up So what we're going to do here, and there is a little bit of bubble, which typically you wouldn't want any bubbling, but that's, it's not even on a spot where we're going to be dealing with. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to turn this off. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and now cut out the ornament. So I'm going to do the same kind of thing where I'm going to cut at these angles kind of lining up with the angles of the actual thing. And I will go back and trim it up in a moment, but I wanna show you something before I trim it. Because there's one thing you have to be careful of. If you cut too close, you'll see that there's like this bubble around it. So you don't wanna to cut too close. So I'm gonna, now that I've cut it out from the big thing, I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to trim it down, but I don't want to go too far down because I don't want it to go down so far to the bubble because that will cause it to open up again. Final things to show you guys are I need a hole puncher and some string. And as you can probably guess, I'm going to be hole punching this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my hole puncher and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it well let's see how much well I can do it. I'm gonna put this hole through the actual star here. So we're gonna go and there's that hole. So now we've got that hole and then I just need some of this string. This is like just cheap string that you can get like for like 50 cents at like a craft store and then tie it and we will make it a little bit shorter than that. That's good. Then we'll cut it and then I'm just going to go ahead and tie this off. It is a God 7 little ornament. Entire mess aside, here are 
my things right here. And I think it came out pretty darn well. So for this next part, this one has to do with painting ornaments. So we've got two round ornaments. You can get these really cheap pretty much anywhere. These were like, I think they were like 50 cents each. So we've got the ornaments and then paint brushes, which again, I think it was like $2 for this entire pack. Some paint. I'm just using acrylic paint, um, some green, one black, and then something to put the paint in. So let's just go ahead and let's get right to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some paint in here that I can use and I can always add more if I need to later. And this black one is actually a chalkboard one, which is kind of cool. So, I'm going to start with the green, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be painting this shape, essentially. So I'm using this as a reference for myself, and I'm just going to go ahead and get, get right into it so you can watch me paint. And so that is, I got seven one. It's simple and pretty much I'm just gonna have to let this dry for the next couple hours because the paint is kind of thick. And here's the other one. So these are just gonna dry and then they can go up. So it's just a simple paint job and that's that is it.